I'm Warren Luff. And I'm Dean Evans. We're from Team Auto Tech, and you'll see more Mirage racing after this break. I'm with Barry Nesbitt, driver of car number three. Now, Bazza, you've landed some new sponsors, a red paint job. You must be pretty happy. Mate, got to be very happy. Strathfield, XN Virtual Offices, all coming in to support North Shore Mitsubishi. And the colour's red, and you can't get a better colour than a racing cover damn red, mate. So let's see how we go. Well, Barry's hoping for a big performance here for the second race of the day for the Logical Mirage Series. The two cars carrying our onboard camera is Gary Young there in the multiplex number four and Barry Nesbitt, the man you just saw, in the Strathfield Car Radio's number three car, just pulling into the fourth position on the grid there. Well, that's right. On pole position, Warren Luff and beside him, his teammate Dean Evans. Now, these two are sort of a, have been going head to head, having a great dice. Uh, you've got uh, Gavin Harvey behind on the uh, inside of the circuit and on the outside, you mentioned before, Barry Nesbitt in the Strathfield car. Now, these uh, vehicles here on the long circuit are pulling exceptionally quick times and uh, going down into the first corner, it should be very interesting indeed. Well, I think the trick for Dean Evans is if he can get in front of young Luff, he should do uh, a pretty good job. But if Luffy's out in front, he's hard to catch. Boy, I tell you what, great start from Evans. That's what he needs. The 17 races prior to this that have been run in this series, 15 of them have been won by Warren Luff. Can he win it again to win his uh, 16th race off? Someone losing an engine in the background there as we go on board with Nesbitt as they fly down here through this very fast left-hander and Dean Evans leads it. Well, that was a great start by Dean Evans. He does a lot of uh, drag racing uh, out there at Eastern Creek and he's used to getting the power down, but a brilliant start. Didn't get any wheel spin and that's the key. Warren Luff looking for the inside and you can see behind, uh, you've got Nesbitt there, but uh, on screen at the moment, Martin Bailey, he was the one with the smoke pouring out of that car, so naturally something has gone amiss in that particular vehicle. But uh, Mean Dean powering his way through. You just got a shot there of, uh, of Mark Eddy in the yellow and red car. On screen at the moment, Francois Joy in the black dent buster car. He's uh, sort of uh, powering up over the uh, inherent bridge here at Oran Park Raceway. Yeah, apologies to Fran uh, Francois. I uh, said that he had hit the wall and had an engine trouble. That wasn't the case as we go on board with Barry Nesbitt. It was actually Francis Placitino that I was referring to. Two black cars. Sorry, Francois. I'm sure you'll get over it. Back on screen now with the racing, and there is an absolute battle up in front for the lead. Can Warren Luff get by Dean Evans, or will Evans hang on for a race win? Well, you can see on the back of, uh, of Warren's car, the right-hand uh, part of the plastic there on that rear bumper is flapping around. It's uh, Obviously, there's been contact somewhere in that uh, first part of the race, but uh, Barry Nesbitt, Barry the wild child of racing, he used to race back in the uh, Suzuki series, and he's on board uh, having an absolute ball. But uh, here we go with, uh, with Gary Young in the multiplex car. This is a shot of the restart right behind Harvey. You can see how these cars are accelerating up through the gears. A great shot there for Speed Week viewers. That's what it's like inside these Mitsubishis here at Oran Park Raceway. Yeah, Eddie coming through there in a big hurry to squeeze through. That's the replay of the start, but Warren Luff looking for the outside run here. Will he do the switch back and cut to the inside? No, Evans great protection of the line through the corner there. Warren is all over him like a rash. Well, he sure is. He's going left, he's going right through this bumpy section of the track, and you can throw a blanket over these front cars. Evans, Luff, and then Harvey uh, back there behind uh, Nesbitt. But uh, Nesbitt is really, he's got the headlights on. He must be uh, trying to intimidate sort of uh, young Wazer and say, well, watch out, I'm coming through. But you can actually see that uh, back uh, rear uh, bumper bar flapping away. Hopefully the officials won't sort of deem that to be too dangerous. Well, Barry, maybe he's inspired by his new sponsorship. Big slide for Warren there, locks up the wheels, maybe a touch. Maybe Barry's inspired, maybe they put a big sound system in the Mirage, he's got the sprinkler music going and he's enjoying himself. Well, he must have the woofers and tweeters tweeting <laughs> away because uh, he's woofing and tweeting at the moment. Down on the brakes here, third gear, they carry the corner speed in, in towards the apex and you can just see how close these cars come right out against the wall on the main straight. Yeah, certainly is. Look, Barry, does he get a run on Warren this time? He's staying right behind him, bit of a slipstream. Look at him closing on the tail of Warren Luff. Is it going to be enough to get around him? He pulls to the outside. No. Warren stays in second place. Look at that inside wheel lock up as they go down under brakes. Warren's run wide. Well, he surely did uh, lock up a brake there a little bit. And you can see, oh, have a look at this. Nesbitt has just, oh, squeezed Warren out there. And, uh, gee, that was close. We uh, almost had a, uh, a coming together with the bridge there. And that's allowed... Uh, Gavin Harvey to power through as well, so uh, uh, Young Wazza won't be too happy with that move. Oh, a bit of heart in the mouth stuff there for Warren Luff because right in front of him was a big concrete bridge. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, it got very close to hitting it. Warren's starting to come back in a big hurry now. He's dropped back to fourth place, but we might just take a look at that incident there because that was very close for the uh, Penrith Mitsubishi number 50. You can see Nesbitt down the inside now. He moves across and tags Luff here. That sends him off the track. Now you see there's a big lot of tyres that Warren just misses. 
Oh, I tell you what, that certainly would have got the heart racing. Let's take a look at it from the onboard now. Nesbitt down the inside. Bang, there's a touch there. And there's the touch that sent Luff off the track. But Nesbitt, forceful move. Well, it surely was forceful, and uh, Barry knows his way around the track, and he is a forceful driver, but as they say, that's motor racing, and you've got to get on with it, so uh, it makes it just that little bit tougher, but uh, I'm sure that uh, these guys, it's sort of, uh, they'll be out there fighting away to the finish, but uh, Dean Evans, the mover and shaker in the Momo-sponsored Fast Fours car out in front, and uh, you can see uh, Barry Nesbitt coming down. The car is weaving and sliding. I'll tell you what, he is pushing this right to the limit. Boy, look at him under brakes there. Nesbitt closes right in on Evans. He certainly takes in the, the fast in, slow out approach there. Speaking of slow out, I think Gavin Harvey with a run down the inside. Will he make it stick? Yes, he does. The number two car heads to that position, and he is starting to charge away. Well, you saw what happened there with Barry. He went in that hot that he actually lost corner speed, and that allowed uh, Gavin Harvey to use the head and just simply just drive down the inside. And that's what it's about with a, a one-make series like these Mitsubishi Mirages. Got to carry the corner speed, and Barry's now paid the price. Well, there's Warren Luff. Does he want a bit of revenge on Nesbitt? Will he, uh, will he make the nice, smooth pass, or will he shove it down the inside, so to speak, and uh, take that place back off Nesbitt that he lost uh, a few corners back? 